Hi, uh, this is a tutorial on how to make object oriented programming in Lua. Uh, there's probably many ways how to do it. This is, I would say, an, uh, one of the easier ways to understand. So, probably most people are familiar with the concept of arrays uh, that you would declare like a series of variables all the same type and you you uh, refer to them with their numbers so it will be like a uh, integer and it's not in any particular language but that would be something like this like a two element array and then you would refer to them as a zero equals let's say two and a one equals I don't know forty five and yeah it's that's pretty common. Now Lua has a thing called things called tables, uh, which are sort of like this, but a little bit different. And in, in Lua, the way you declare a table is you say local. Let's say I'm just going to call it Joe equals table. That's the sign. And you can assign uh, values to the different elements. So you go like Joe. I would say like dot name equals Joe, and then you can go Joe dot age equals twenty five. And now you could you could accomplish the same thing uh, in the different syntax. You could go like Joe name equals Joe, sorry, Joe, and this line is the exact same line as this. You have two different ways of typing it. Now, if you want to type Joe dot two equals, I don't know, let's say hello. That's not gonna work. For numbers, you you gotta use the second one. For numbers, you can only use the square brackets. Uh, and uh, one other thing for strings, strings you can do anything. For numbers, you gotta use the square brackets. And you can also add uh, functions. You can go like function Joe. Let's see, say name name. Let's see, and and it'll say like print Joe dot name, and it will print out Joe. I'm gonna get rid of this, and so that's kind of unique because it's it's kind of like an array where the element can be uh, just about anything. And we'll put for that Joe to I got put this back. Hello. So I, I made a little chart here to compare. So basically in Lua you create a table and and the indexes can be anything. A string, another string, a number, and then it can even be a header of a function. And the and the contents could be a string, a number, and then it could be the the text of the function and this is how you would call it joe.name or joe square brackets name joe.age for numbers you gotta use the square brackets and for functions you go to joe column same name now to compare it to an array your indexes will be 0, 1, 2, 3 etc and your and your values gotta be the same type either strings or numbers and you gotta call them with the square brackets and the index number. So it's, table is kind of like a special array where the, the 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 tag can be anything and the contents can be anything. I mean that's kind of a simple way of putting it. So basically, Joe is already an object because it has variables and it has functions that that you can call. If I run it. Oops, I forgot to call it. I have to call Joe say name. 
if I call it, it'll say Joe. And so you already created an object in itself. You can create more uh, functions to it and, or, and more variables. And uh, this is kind of cool, but let's see if I want to create a local bill equals. I gotta type this whole thing all over again. So that's kind of that's not really what we're looking for. So we kind of want a prototype, kind of like a class. So let's make let's make a let's make that. So I'm gonna create function new person. I'm just gonna call it that. And and I'm gonna take two parameters, one for the name and one for the age. And inside this, I'm gonna create a table, just like Joe was. You can call it anything, like blah. I'm gonna call it objects, but it's not a reserved keyword or anything. You just call it whatever you want. And then I'm gonna return the same table return object and I'm gonna give this object so I'm gonna go object dot name equals P and object dot age equals Q and I'm gonna go object say name I um, forgot function and it's gonna say print object dot name end. So what will happen is that I'm I'm not gonna create Joe as a table. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call Joe equal new person so when I call this new person this is gonna be called I forgot to add in the parameters I'm gonna call it Joe and then I believe he was 25 he's gonna get this every time you call this this inside a new table is gonna get created with these uh, members these these uh, I don't know fields and since it returned, Joe becomes this. So now, now if I want to create a bill, all I have to do is say new person bill, and he's gonna be let's say 30 years old or something like that. And now I can call, I can, I can refer to these fields here. As a let's say print Joe dot age, or I can say uh, let's say Bill, and then say name, and that's it. I got basically I created objects. They all remember their own values, and now they all have uh, functions that you can assign to them. So by creating a table in a function and putting in here. Now to be a little bit more uh, stylish, I guess say that way, it's probably more common to do is to create modules which basically use another file. So in the same folder you have uh, your uh, your main dot uh, Lua file, you just create a new file and just call it person Lua and within this Lua file you're gonna have to type this module dot 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 comma package dot CR, which basically enables the content of this to be seen uh, from other uh, modules, in this case from the main module. And I'm just going to take this function, I'm going to get rid of this from here, and put it in here. 
Uh, I'm just gonna call it instead of new person. I'm just gonna call it new. You could you could call it anything you want. And in here to access the contents of this, you're gonna have to type the following line: local. It can be anything, like blah. But it, I would I'm gonna call it the same per sun equals require and you have to type in uh, in here per sun dot lua without the dot lua so whatever this name so now if you want to call anything from in here you just call it person let's say you want to call it person dot lua file the new function we are just gonna type person dot new and that will call this function from this file so instead of Joe equals new person I'm going to type Joe equals person dot new and same thing with Bill person dot new and that's it you get the same same exact result and it's like basically each of these file is a I guess a class. So none of these, just so you know, this object is not a reserved keyword. You can be anything. This new, this can be anything. You can you can call. You don't have to call this the same as the file name, but I guess it I guess it makes sense to do that. Mm. Also, you can uh, you can put like objects within objects. Uh, I let's just I say let's take this like a step further. Let's say I'm gonna create another file here, and it's gonna be I'm gonna call it team. I'm gonna call that the team. Okay, so uh, we're gonna put the same thing in here, and I'm gonna call function new and local object equals table return table I'm sorry return object okay so what I'm gonna do here instead of calling instead of saying person require person I'm gonna call it like a team so I'm I'm gonna accessing the team uh, team dot lua file, and we're not gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna get rid of this for now. And what I'm gonna do is that in the team I'm gonna do the same thing like this, but I'm gonna say that to the person. And let's see. Person, it requires person. So now from the team, I can access the person file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create in here, let's say, the same way I would create a fields for object. Uh, I'm going to create object dot members equal and it's a table so it's like tables can have other tables inside them as as uh, elements like this could be another table here just like just like in a multi-dimensional array kind of like that and I'm gonna do like this function object add member p q and and I'm gonna go object dot members and we're gonna refer to these with numbers so I'm gonna have to use the square brackets and we're gonna have to index them as you add them so there's a function called table dot get n like get the numbers and you pass in the Table, so it's going to be object dot 
members. So this will return how many elements are in object the member. So when you first time you call it, it will return zero. And I'm gonna put plus one. So that's how you add the first element equals person dot new and you pass in the same arguments P and Q. And now when you call this, I'm gonna go like team and I'm gonna say let's see team one equals team dot new. So that that created this object but there's nothing in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say team one and I'm gonna call this add member and I'm gonna call let's say Joe and he's gonna be 25 years old and let's type it correctly and let's say I'm gonna do the same thing to Bill and he was 30 years old so when I call this then this will get called and that and that calls this and basically it's the same thing but now they gonna be also in the team so to see the effects of that let's say I'm gonna go like this function object roll call and and let's say we're gonna have to go through the table and list the elements so I'm gonna go like four i equals one and again to the length of the table which is this this gives me how many members are there so the first time it will be zero so if there's zero elements nothing will happen and then one, one step at a time and then you go do and let's say print object dot members and then you get the the index number and then you go say name how did I write the same name what does it do oh I have to change that to return object dot name return okay so now this will give the name back to the print function and it'll so basically now for each of these members you call this function from here and they'll print it out so and then you can just call team one roll call and if you run this you get the names of Joe and Bill so uh, now you can see that you can put uh, you know these objects into a table and you can add them dynamically as you need and you can put objects into other objects and um, I guess uh, that's about it just keep just remember when, when the, you call the constructor like the new just call that with a dot and all the member functions just use the column that's the most common way to do it and you should be just fine so that's that's because this is really just referring to this file so you're calling the new function from this file that's all it really says and these are the actual members of the table so I guess that's it and um, well, happy programming.